Okay. Wow, I think I actually found lighting in a timely manner. I got a new SD card. Okay, hold on. I'm parked diagonally, like not in a parking spot. I'm probably in like six parking spots. This is sad. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Pe Pick up. People are gonna drive by and be like, what the frick is this girl doing? I don't know how to start these. Okay, I feel like I need to be like in the center. <laughs> This is good. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jenna. Why is that so awkward? Okay, I'm taking my shoes off. We're getting comfortable. Okay, that's better. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jenna. I That's so weird. Okay, we're not doing that. For this video, I thought I've never done a sit down video like this in my car ever on my personal YouTube channel. I've done these many times in the past and these were like my favorite kind of videos, like just sitting down and talking to you guys. Were they? This might be boring. No. And I feel like I have a lot to talk to you guys about and just update you guys on. So I thought this would be a good video to do. I asked you guys to ask me questions on both Instagram and Snapchat. And we're going to go through both of those. I don't know what kind of questions you guys ask. But if you guys aren't already following both my Instagram and Snapchat, definitely go follow those. I've been pretty active on both. And if you're not following my Snapchat, I post like a hundred times a day. Like you guys are my best friends on Snapchat. You guys know everything about my life on there. I vlog every day. And yeah. Also, I got a text. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's rude. Okay, um, also, you guys, subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I'm definitely gonna try and become more active on here as well as only 10% of you guys are subscribed on this channel. I'd appreciate it so much. I also appreciate the love and support you guys have given me across all platforms more than anything else. This is distracting. We're turning off my phone. I'm stalling. Let's get into this video. Um, this is weird. This is really, really weird. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely going to get questions on the set. The set is from Addicted. I got it the other day in New York City and I love it so much. Okay. Let's get into it. Why am I nervous? Okay. We'll start with this one. Nice little easy question. What skin tint do you use? I use the Glossier skin tint. It's really light. It's like perfect for every day. I feel like this video is so bad. Hold on. First question I'll answer is how have you been going with your faith recently? So this is a good question to talk about because I'm struggling I feel like to grow my faith. I have been trying to read my Bible I would say I've been reading my Bible like every other day. I read like a few pages I take notes. I look up like words that I don't know even if you're like not faithful I feel like it's just good reading the Bible and getting like a bigger better perspective on life I just learned so much about how to be a good person I think it motivates me to like be the best version of myself when I read it I guess like little steps like, like just slowly work my way into it maybe i don't know i'm just playing it by ear that's how i'm doing with that i like this question pancakes or waffles depending on the there's a cop am i gonna get in trouble no is he coming i think he's leaving both are fire depends on the mood right now i could frick up some pancakes okay i'm just gonna get into like the hard questions first because i feel like that'll help set the tone for this video um i think a big question that you guys have been asking everywhere is our will and i broken up and i made a video back in i posted a video december and i made that video probably november after taking like two months to make the video um and i said that will and i were on a break will and and I, Will and I did leave things off at, we I guess were breaking up and it's like hard to say. I don't know why. I think cause it's like such a touchy subject, but Will and I did leave things off as we are broken up and if we find each other we find each other i just don't think i was ready to accept it or for it to be reality i was thinking of it as a break i think to make me feel better and make it easier for me and honestly it worked it definitely helped but i do think it slowed down my healing process a lot like it was four and a half freaking years it was so hard to accept oh my gosh i can't believe i'm talking about this i don't i just feel like i have to talk about it because i like this is why i don't make videos like this i just think it's only fair to like that video was posted in december made in november maybe even october and it's been so many months now you guys are like what is going on and i just want to give you guys an update just so you can understand a little bit more even though i appreciate you guys being so understanding and you guys say it's none of our business and i can do whatever i want but i do kind of want to talk about it a little bit just because like when i make certain content of me like doing this for the first time alone or this like it just makes more sense if i'm just like super super upright and give you guys another update so like i said will and i did in september leave off as we are broken up and if we find each other we find each other it's been october november december 
October, November, December, January, February. It's been five months, but to be even more transparent, and I think you guys picked up on it, a while before that, Will and I were having issues. Like, there was a long time where we didn't really go talking, and it was just kind of a rough situation. I think we both were kind of seeing that things weren't going like they once were. We just didn't want to accept it and didn't want to do what maybe had to be done. This has been going on for a really long time, and I honestly have regret not documenting it more because it's really hard for me to open up and I've been so scared to like post things publicly on this but I do think if I did I'd be so much more proud of myself because this is such a weird time of my life and I think if I documented everything it would have been really cool to look back on and just see like myself growing like actually seeing it I have done like a little a couple things but it's been a while and it hasn't been easy and sometimes I see comments like do you miss Will and I'm like do you guys think I'm a terrible human being? Of course I miss Will. Of course I'm gonna miss Will. He was my entire life, my best friend for pretty much five years. We started talking, this is crazy. We started talking in 2018. 2018 and it's 2024 like holy shit yeah that's what i have to say about that so i guess to rip the band-aid i guess you can say yes will and i are broken up I don't even know if I want to post this. <sighs> okay, so going off that, <laughs> I kind of want to like give you guys an update on like how I'm doing, like just for me to even look back on in the future. So let's start with this. How is your mental health? Awful. No, I'm actually doing okay. If school wasn't a thing, I think I'd be doing a lot better than I am right now, but I just have a lot on my plate balancing this life change that I'm going through on top of having five freaking classes. Actually, a sixth one was added, which is zero credits for what? I don't even know. And trying to like work on my social media. It's been a lot and I've honestly felt really unmotivated and burnt out, but I recently just found like this passion again. Like this is what I love to do. I love creating videos. I just don't have the confidence yet to like do it super well alone and I want to try and grow that I, We were doing it for three years three and a half years together Obviously, I'm gonna feel weird doing it alone But you know what me doing it more alone will make me feel better about it. So that is why I'm here <laughs> I don't really know. I feel like I just sound stupid. What age do you want to have kids? They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine I could not tell you now that I can't even think that far into the future. I'm already like bugging out, like confused with my life right now. I used to think about that and be like, honestly, not that far away. But now I, I don't know. Depending on the situation, it all depends on like the situation and who you're with and blah, 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 blah. I'll do this question. Hardest part about being a YouTuber slash content creator. I don't even like talking about this because I'm so blessed and so grateful for the opportunity that I've gotten. Obviously, I know it's not guaranteed forever, but even what I've been able to experience already, I'm so, so grateful and I pray every day and I thank God for this opportunity. I would say the hardest thing about it is honestly for me right now living at home the privacy I don't even know why it bothers me but like when, when people know so much about me or like even like my mom watches my snapchats which is fine she supports me and I wouldn't want anything different but sometimes I feel like oh my gosh I'm home she knows every single thing I did today everything I ate today every place I've been it's like being on find my iPhone or life 360 but like every single little detail your family knows sometimes i'm like oh my god or even if i post like me somewhat sad on my snapchat i'll get like a call 20 minutes later which is i'm so grateful for that i'm so grateful for my family to care about me so i'm not complaining in any sense but that's normal and i wouldn't want it any other way that's not something to complain about but that's just like the one thing i would say that i definitely like sometimes i'm like eh. but i can always not post then like that's just up to me but i feel like am i gonna get crap for that I don't know. This is gonna be so hard to edit because I'm just like talking like crazy. Oh my gosh, I like this one. Best interaction you have had with a fan in person and on social media. On social media every single day. I feel like I'm closest with you guys on Snapchat. Seeing you guys support me or like if I post something, you guys give me advice or this or that. Like it makes me feel so happy. I just love connecting with you guys anywhere. You guys are so supportive and I'm so blessed. I can't even pick one. In person, I will pick one. When I was at the iHeartRadio Jingle Ball this past December. December. I was going to the bathroom. The line was so long. It was like outside 
the bathroom. I'm in line and there's this young girl and her dad next to her in line. I think from like obviously like seeing the situation, I'm sure her dad brought her to this Jingle Ball concert and she was going to the bathroom and she was younger. So her dad was waiting in line with her until she had to break off and go in and the dad can go in the woman's bathroom. He was standing there waiting in line with her. It was the sweetest thing ever. It just made me think about me and my dad. He brought her and she was probably so excited for Olivia Rodrigo. He probably had no idea who these artists were, but just bringing her for her. I don't even know what the situation was. That could have been like her uncle or I don't even know. When we got close to going into the bathroom, he broke off and she was standing like alone. She was the cutest little girl. And I said to her, who are you excited to see? Or like, who's your favorite artist tonight? And I think she said Olivia Rodrigo. And then she was like, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yes. And she was like, I follow you on YouTube or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, do you want a picture? And she was like, yeah. And then she didn't have her phone or like a phone on her. So I was like, do you want me to take it on my phone and I can send it to you or your dad? And she was like, yeah. So we took a picture on my phone. I don't know if she didn't remember her dad's phone number. We emailed the photo onto her phone and she was just so cute. And then when we were washing our hands at the end, I gave her a hug and then she emailed me after and I emailed her back and wished her a Merry Christmas and stuff like that. That one was really sweet. I just wasn't expecting her to know. I just was trying to comfort her going into the bathroom. Oh my gosh, I have another one. I met this girl, Kenzie. I followed her back on TikTok, but we took a picture at an Eagles game in Maryland at the Commander's Eagles game. And ever since I see her comment on my stuff and she is the sweetest. She was so nice. Meeting her was so cute. She was with her mom. I'm going off on a tangent. Favorite fast food. Oh my gosh, Taco Bell. But I never get it. I never get it because I know how bad it is for you. And I also know if I do get it once, I'm going to want to go back like every day. I can't break it. Next would be McDonald's. It used to not be, but I've been liking McDonald's more. It's fire. I get a McChicken. I get a cheeseburger. Also Panera. I love Panera. Those are my top three. Okay, next question is, what is your favorite gym workout to do? Speaking of, I recently just lifted for the first time in a really long time and it felt really good. But I don't know what it is, you guys. Something about running is like, it's just the best feeling in the world. I love running. People even comment on my Snapchat sometimes, like the rude people, and they're like, you don't work out, you just go on a treadmill every day. Running just gives me such a good high. I don't even run with music. Most of the time I'm running, I'm praying, which is weird, I know. I try and pray every day and I feel like it's just like the best time to pray, even though I would like to listen to music. I don't know. I'm weird. Running is just such a good feeling. I run two miles when I go work out and I'll gradually get faster. So at the end of my run, I'm running the fastest. And when I'm done, it's just the best feeling in the world. I work out more for my mental health than my physical appearance because it just makes me feel so much better. So I highly recommend running. Okay, this is a good one. Current most recent show you've binged, Euphoria. I started Euphoria again because last year I tried watching it and I got like two episodes in and I couldn't keep watching. I was bored it wasn't making me feel good it was like weird so I stopped this year again I try to and when I tell you that is not the show to watch when you're not doing good mentally I'm fine but like obviously I'm going through something so it's like it's kind of a depressing show and like when you're not feeling your best it's like eh. I just don't think it's worth the hype like it's good I don't know it's also just whack like I'm just like this is what people like to watch I think I'm on episode six and I stopped watching like two weeks ago I'm thinking about starting again and like just finishing the first season apparently the second season's better than also other people say the first season's better. It's a decent show, but I would just say, unpopular opinion, I don't love it. I love Zendaya. What's his face? What's his face that everyone thinks is so cute? Jacob Lordy. I just don't love the show as much as like other people do. Next question. Favorite dessert. Oh, don't get me started. I'm hungry. Cookies with Oreos in them. If you have never made a cookie with an Oreo in it, make it right now and send me a picture on Instagram and I will answer. Freaking go to your closest Walmart, Target, whatever. Get Tall House cookie dough. Get Oreos. Go home. Flatten out the cookie dough. Put the Oreo inside and wrap the cookie dough around, put it in the oven and bake it like a cookie. I can't even give you a time how long to make because I have no idea. I just eyeball it and then take it out once it starts getting a little brown and then eat it warm. It is so good. It tastes like a fried Oreo, but so much better. I don't know. Fried Oreos are good, but like this, so good. Now I'm so hungry. This is a good question. What are you going to college for? I am a communication studies major with a concentration in media production. All things film, editing, media, all that kind of stuff. My dream job is to work for the NFL specifically the Eagles, but I know that's very hard to get into and unrealistic. I think that'd be really cool. I also just bought a camera to try and learn that kind of stuff. I've been taking it to a couple of basketball games, trying to just learn it. That's what I'm going to school for. Any advice for my last few years of high school? Yes, I have advice for you. I would say do as much as you can. You're never going to regret it. You're always going to regret not doing it. I played volleyball all my years besides my last year of high school, and I wasn't the best at it because I did gymnastics all my life, so transferring from gymnastics to volleyball for the first time isn't easy but it was fun making those memories being with a team it's just so 
fun and you're always gonna remember that and you're never gonna get that back and I would definitely say do a sport even if you're not great at it I also did track wasn't great at track I tried pole vaulting which I was decent at because of gymnastics just being involved in sports is so fun and the awful track practice experiences I did winter track for pole vaulting I did winter freaking track that was terrible I look back and I'm like why did I put myself through that I have asthma running breathing in the freezing cold is not easy why did I do that I have no idea but like I'll never forget that even though it sucks in the moment it's gonna be your best memories looking back that is my advice do everything do clubs do sports go to all like the hockey games all the football games go to all your dances don't miss a dance don't not go to prom don't not go to formal just go for fun and make the memories and people say that about college and I commute and go to college but like that's different no it, it actually is different any new upcoming trips? Yes, I have two. We are going on a cruise this weekend. I'm so excited. I have to start packing. And then after that, when I get home, I'll be back for like three days and then I'm going somewhere far. I'm also nervous because I'm flying by myself and it's a pretty long flight by myself. I've only flown once by myself. I documented that on my TikTok, but it was only like a two hour flight and it was fine. But this one is not two hours. It's longer than that. So I'm scared. Are you excited for summer? Yes, I'm so excited for summer. I feel like I need the sun. I need to be on the beach on LBI by myself with friends I don't care and just getting tan maybe having a drink I'll be 21 just relaxing let's do this question how does it feel to be single I don't know I'm just existing that's that's me just existing I couldn't tell you <laughs> this is a good question going off of like the breakup stuff tips for finding new hobbies and enjoying time alone after a breakup I love you my biggest tip for you would be so it's just to not like worry about it well this is an issue of mine I was pretending like it wasn't reality which I think prolonged the process but just enjoy yourself become independent you're your own best friend you're never gonna hurt yourself grow your independence it's peaceful it gets lonely for sure but you know what become the person that you want to attract work on yourself push yourself get Get outside of your comfort zone feel uncomfortable and all of that will reward you in the end hopefully put the energy out there that you want to attract do the things that make you happy take your mind off things don't stress too much about the small stuff this is life we're all gonna be okay just live in the moment take it day by day and you got it i believe in you work out because that always makes me feel better just working out just sweating and just doing something for myself work on you i love you oh my gosh these questions are brutal <laughs> what age do you want to get married no don't ask me that right now i know it comes from a good place i don't know and this one would you ever consider downloading a dating app no no i'm so boring no yeah yeah how are you doing since the breakup let's talk about this for a little bit and then i only have like a couple questions left um i talked about this a little bit in my last video i'm doing okay i'm working on me i'm becoming very independent which i know will make me a better person and stronger person but i have become lonely a lot of my closest friends are at school places that are not close to here so i get very lonely i know it sucks but it'll make me stronger like i said it's okay i wish i had more fun things to do i wish there was like more music festivals going on or like events to go to and people to see but there isn't i'm just trying to work hard to get my school done and balance that with also doing social media and working out and doing things for myself like that so i've been better but um hopefully when summer comes around i'll start feeling better this is sweet this person said how are you by the way i love you i love you too kind of just talked about that i'm okay we'll do two more are you close with your siblings i am close with my siblings yes i think this time in my life has made me realize so much how important family is and i always knew that i've always been such a family oriented person but even like now more than ever i am just so grateful for the people in my life my dad my mom my brothers my grandmas yes i am close with my siblings we went to a lot of football games this past football season which was so fun and i love them more than anything growing up you're like eh, i don't want to really be with my family blah, 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 blah. i love being around my family like it is my favorite thing we're going on a cruise this weekend yes obviously going on cruises with friends is fun but i'm excited to be around my family your family is number one unless things are different like with different circumstances but okay let's find one last question it's starting to get dark and i have to go to school oh something else i wanted to talk about i'm surprised this isn't in here because i saw people say i cheated some people think i cheated if you know anything about me you know i would never do anything like that i would never cheat on somebody i never have i never will that's that we'll never cheat it i never cheated we would never do that to each other i saw comments they're like you never know who somebody is offline yes but also no because i literally post a hundred times a day on snapchat it's pretty clear to see exactly who i am and also just no 
Let's find one last question. I ended up doing all of the questions from Instagram. I didn't even look at any of the ones from Snapchat. Whoopsies. Why when you cheer on the other team of football, they tend to lose? I don't know. I think I jinx everything. Okay, the last question I'll do is where do you live? I love your content, by the way. I love you so much. Thank you. I live in New Jersey. I actually live like five minutes from the beach, which is crazy. I never realized how crazy it was until I started doing social media and like meeting new people that are not from here because everyone like I've known growing up has been from my hometown. So it's crazy like seeing that like people don't live by the beach like people don't have a five minute drive and go to the beach i think that's crazy yeah i live in new jersey south jersey and i'll be on lbi this summer if any of you guys will be too but i think that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me understand a little bit more about me recently i don't really know i don't even know if i'm gonna post this i feel like i just blabbed for 40 minutes and 12 seconds ew i'm gonna have to edit that down i know this is all over the place i know i sound crazy i'm just in a weird place of my life right now and i want to make sure i I'm being real and connecting with you guys on a deeper level. I know I made a TikTok opening up a little bit on how it was my first time going to dinner without a boyfriend. I felt so weird posting it because I never want to use my situation for anything that I shouldn't. It's a weird thing. I made that video and I saw a comment that said, I'm crying in a parking lot. This made me feel so much less alone. And I felt so at peace knowing that I made someone feel less alone. It was the best feeling in the world. And being able to connect with you guys on a level like that and make you feel not alone and like we're going through this together or maybe we're not and you're just seeing more about me it's a hard thing for me to do but i know vulnerability i can never say that word vulnerability vulnerability that that's so important i never want to post and make it look like everything sunshine and rainbows because it's not and i know i've seen people like that and i'm like your life looks so happy and so good all the time but now i'm even blabbing even more i'm gonna be done i'm cutting myself off please like this video because it really helps the video out and i appreciate it so much and make sure you guys are subscribed i probably will be going through the comments of these videos and responding back to you guys so leave me a comment i'm sorry if i'm boring but um yeah i just wanted to make this video haven't made a sit down video in a car in a really long time but I hope you enjoy. I love you. You mean the world to me. Bye.